Hi, this is Michael. So I'm doing a quick tutorial of how we set up set one of the Engineer CSG recording gear. So set one is uh, basically comes as a suitcase. Suitcase looks like this. So you can see there is a, there's a label there, Engineer CSG. So opening these up, you see all the gear that we need for this. Opening up is pretty easy. There's a zip on the side. Once you open it up, this has nothing but just sort of gear that you need. Inside here, there's one bag where the laptop is. So, this is the main heart of the system where you use to record all the other stuff. We'll go through that later. So you just take it out. Inside here, there's a recording with a adapter for the laptop, as well as the audio interface. You also find the tripod that's used for recording for the camera. Basic tripod. Opening up is pretty easy. Just unscrew this, give it a chill turn. And uh, open up the legs like this. You can extend it. And lock it in place. Same thing for the two. For the head, setup is it's also pretty easy. So there's a screw here that will let you unlock and turn. And there's a, there's a little uh, thing here you just rotate and you're going to extend it, make it taller. What most important part of the system of this tripod is the header. This is a little con this holder. So to, un to unlock it, just flick this to the right, push it a little bit, and you come off very easily. Okay. So unlock this. Push this space to the right and lift it up. And you'll be mounting the camera on this platform later. Okay. Next package in the system. This is your bag full of all your tricks or all your cables that we need. Extension cable, various pouches. These three are the these three are the most important stuff. So the first pouch, the small one, that's the Ava Media screen grabber that we use this to grab whatever display is coming from the presenter's laptop. Basically, it takes in a HDMI input and send signal down USB to the laptop. That's the Ava Media Live Gamer Portable. So the other package in here is the Zoom Q2 HD camera. We use this for the recording of the speaker. It's powered by USB right now, but you can actually insert batteries if you need to. And you can record into an SD card if you're running it standalone. Otherwise, you basically send the video source, the video signal down the USB to the laptop. So the combination of the AVA Media 
recording the presenter's screen and the Q2HD recording the presenter as he's speaking. The combination of these two will help us record the meetup. Basically, that will help us archive all the, all the events that's happening at the meetup. In this pouch is the wireless mic microphones. So here are the batteries. And we have both a wireless receiver. You see this at the back. There is actually a transmitter. So this is a transmitter of the wireless microphone. And this is the receiver. Right. So from the transmitter, you connect to a micro to a microphone, the clip one mic. It looks like this. So this clip one mic is you basically plug in here. Screw it in as tight as you can, and you'll be able to clip this onto the speaker, usually on his collar, and this will be used to record uh, his voice. To open the battery battery hatch, there's two buttons by the side. Just press, just squeeze it, and pull out. You have battery battery compartment. The on off switch is over here. Just press and hold, and the power will come on. So there's the transmitter. The receiver, this is the receiver. So the receiver is used to receive audio signal from the transmitter. Same, same logic, just press and hold. Press the sides, battery compartment opens. And you can slot in the batteries. Turn it on, and you plug this, plug this in with this cable, and screw it in, right? And the other side is an XLR connector, which is a 3-pin connector. This one connects to the audio interface, which you saw earlier in the, in the, in the pouch. the Yamaha C1. So you plug this into the back. Um, somebody on IRC. You plug into the back. Usually I'll use the first interface. My one. Plug in is very straightforward. Just make sure the tool, the, the, the groove is facing the top. Let's plug it in. Okay, it only goes in one way. So this will be used to record the audio. You're going to use close micing with this one. Basically, close micing means the microphone is very close to the speaker. This will pick up the best quality audio. If you don't, you find this too much of a hassle to set up, so you can ignore the audio interface as well as the wireless microphone. So just use the camera's microphone to record. So the Q2HD itself has a pretty good microphone over here. So you can use that to record the audio as well.